Let's look at what problem solving entails, because that's really critical to understand if we're going to get past the, this stage and where we're at in our stifled uh, evolutionary development as a species. There's a few main steps to solving problems, any problem, doesn't matter what the nature of the problem is. The first is you have to recognize that the problem exists, recognize that there is a problem to begin with. And I think by asking the question, is everybody content with the way things are, and nobody raised their hand, I think that's great because it, it, it at least acknowledges to me the people here today recognize we have a problem. And that's healthy, that's good. Okay? Many people out there don't believe we have a problem. You know, they, they, they like this place. They like the world the way that it is. You know, which is unfathomable to me because to me it's a living hell. And that's not because of how my own personal life is going. I'm very content with my own personal life. I have no self-inflicted suffering in my personal life. I don't create problems for myself. My life goes on very well according to how I live it without hurting anybody else. The problem is other people. And that's another thing new, the New Agers won't acknowledge. And they'll flip out if you say that there's a problem with someone else. There are problems with other people. Okay? And people will say people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. My glass house has been taken down long since, long time ago, because I went through all that personal introspective work, and I dug deep into my subconscious and faced those problems and confronted them head on and healed them and came out of the mindset that I was once in. Okay? So, you know, people will say, if there's something you don't like, you're seeing in, in other people, that's something in yourself that you're seeing in them. This, this is new age mumbo jumbo nonsense. Okay? If you're not part of the problem, I'm not part of this problem. I can say that honestly. I'm not part of this problem. I can look at every single person, anybody who's watching this, and say, I'm not part of the problem that's happening on the earth. With all honesty and knowing that I am telling the truth with that. Okay? But, but see, at one point, I was part of the problem. And a, a big part of the problem. Okay? What I had to do at some point is stop doing this and pointing out and saying the problem lies elsewhere while I was still part of it. And then I had to do this and point squarely at myself and say, what do I need to change here, here, and finally, here, in the guts, in the courage. You know, people will say, yeah, change happens in the mind, it happens in the heart. But lastly, it happens in the guts. We need to generate what I call the heart, mind, guts. Okay? You gotta care enough to know and then put it into action. The heart, mind, guts. Okay? That taking action is the most important step when it comes to creating change. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But the whole point here is, I had to look at what I needed to change about myself in my thoughts, my emotions, and my actions, and then change those things in myself. This is what most people want to run away from. They want to say, yeah, I want those things that I say I want to magically to be present in my life, but I don't want to do those things that require self-change in how I think, in how I feel, and in how I act. I want it magically to happen without changing those things in me. So I can honestly look at the rest of the world and say, the problem does not lie within me. I am not seeing a manifestation of myself in other people. Other people have not done the same process that I have the introspective work that I have, and gone through that painful, painstaking work that involves effort, hard effort. I'm not up here telling people, I'm offering you the, the tonic. You're going to take a sip and magically you will be enlightened. Okay? Knowing what's going on in the world is hard work. It involves destruction. It's a destructive process. It involves destruction of belief systems. It involves completely breaking down barriers that are in your head. Okay? Hardly anybody wants to do that work. People want to run a million miles an hour in the opposite direction from that work. Anything but that. I'll take the grave instead of that. Okay? That's where most people's heads are at. All right? So let's get back to the steps here for problem solving. 
The first is, you got to recognize that there's a problem. If you are in denial, good luck. Let me know how that works out for you. Because you're not solving any problem in a state of denial at all. Fear-based denial of the problem must first be dealt with and conquered and stamped out. And you have to acknowledge how bad it is. You know? People feel symptoms coming on of a disease or something and they want to ignore it because they don't want to believe I'm sick. I don't want to believe I'm sick. I don't want to believe I have a problem. Then you're waiting, waiting, waiting. You don't get it diagnosed and then it turns into a much bigger problem, which is where we're at as a society for ignoring this information. This is what denial looks like, symbolically. Okay, A person with their head in the sand like an ostrich. And please take note, ladies and gentlemen, when you're in this position, when you're in the position of denial with your head in the sand, you're on your knees with your ass in the air. Okay, I almost say it's amazingly synchronistic that the human body was designed like that. That in order to put your head in the sand, symbolically, so to speak, you have to be on your knees. Okay? And that's where most of our society is at. They're on their knees and in that state of denial. The second step to problem solving is to recognize that the symptoms that are being displayed, the symptoms you are seeing, are merely effects of underlying causal factors. You can't treat symptoms and solve a problem. It's not possible. That's not how problem solving works. You have to get to what caused the problem. Okay? Instead of simply treating symptoms, make an accurate diagnosis of the causes of the problem. So what does the word diagnosis mean? Diagnosis comes from Greek. The preposition dia, transliterated there, there in the parentheses, you see it in, in Greek script. Okay? It means through or by way of. So by a method, by a particular method. All right? And the second part of diagnosis is the Greek noun gnosis. Gnosis means knowledge in Greek. So what a diagnosis means is through knowledge or by way of knowledge. You're going to solve the problem by way of knowledge. There is knowledge that acts as the requirement to solving the problem and getting what you want. And here's another thing, and I'm going to keep going back to this. It's going to be like an undercurrent in this. Because the New Age community, and I'm going to be... I'm have been, but I'm going to become a more outspoken opponent of New Age ideologies because they are lying to people, whether it be through direct, willful deception or whether it be through useful dupes and useful idiots. They are telling people things that are completely inaccurate to how things really work, all right? Because they want to keep people suppressed and non-active. They want people in acceptance mode of everything. Accept, accept, accept. Never rebel. Okay? Don't take action. Just observe. Just watch. You'll hear all of these things in the New Age movement. Okay? The reason I bring it up is because when you even say the word knowledge to some New Agers, they almost take offense. Because what's, what the New Age is becoming is the new modern day variant it's a new form of what's known as solipsism. We're going to get to what solipsism is in a little while. Okay? But essentially, people don't want to hear that knowledge is what is required. Because the attainment of real knowledge, not pseudo-knowledge, real knowledge, requires work. It requires effort. It requires reading. It requires listening. It requires watching. And you know what most of all it requires that people don't want to give up? Who can tell me? Time. Thank you, sir. It requires time. There's one of the currencies people don't spend, uh, you know, on many things that they don't feel they can get immediate gratification from, which is why immediate gratification is so stressed in our society by the control system. That's what keeps people in their ignorance. So a diagnosis means if you're going to get well, you've got to have the knowledge of the underlying causal factors that, that led to the creation of the symptoms. You're not going to treat the symptoms and get well. 
You gotta have the knowledge to get to the causal factors, to find out what cause put this into effect. And we're gonna talk a lot about cause and effect. The third step to problem solving is, through the knowledge that you've acquired now, via making an accurate diagnosis of the problem of the causal factors, right? You're going to then put that knowledge into action. Understanding what created the problem is like step two, right? Stop being in denial. Understand what caused the problem. Act on the knowledge you now have to solve the problem, to make it right, okay? So action is required. We make the diagnosis, then we have to take the required action necessary to rectify or to set right, which is what the word rectify means, the causal factors that led to the manifestation of the problem. 